Hi everyone, welcome to my crazy crafty life. Today I have another Timu haul for you, so let's jump into it. All right, for the first item, I wanna show you this little tote bag that I got. Um, I love it, it says pink, it's really bright. They did have other colors. But of course, I got the pink. So cute, I love it. It holds quite a bit. I have all my items that I'll be showing you today in here. Um, it's probably not gonna be as long a haul, at least I hope not. I do not have the price on this, um, but I will put it somewhere here <laughs> for you. There's also pockets in here, which is nice. Um, you can see it's lined and it has some pockets for like your phone and stuff glasses, whatever you need. Okay, so this item is little rosebuds. These were $1.48. I just thought they were cute. Are they, are they rosebuds? I think they are, I'm not sure. But you get four, uh, five. One, two, three, four, five, five. I just thought they were cute and I wanted to see what they looked like. Um, take one out to show you. I mean, they look realistic, but they're just the rosebuds. However, if you have extra, like if you keep your floral pieces that you cut up, you probably have stems you can add if you wanted to do them that way, or if you just wanted to use the stems on something. These are really pretty. I like these a lot. And they're small. <laughs> they're, they're small, but they're very pretty. So I'm not sure if five is enough for a project, but maybe if you have like a little something you need to add something to. Okay, the next thing that I have is, um, oh my gosh, how am I gonna do this? It was 588 comes in this fancy box <laughs> um, and it is this little container. I just thought it was so vintage and cute looking. It has like you can put your um, makeup brushes or something in it. I, I think it's just so pretty. I may actually just use this in my craft room. I'm not sure. I, I just loved it and had to have it because I love vintage items and it, it really does look so cute. And it is um, like a smoky color. It is see-through so you can see what's in there. And this piece actually comes out. So if you just wanted to use it this way, you could. Um, so I like, I like that it has the option to do that. And I just love the design. This side has a butterfly and then this side has a bow and then it alternates. So pretty, I love that. I love, love that. <laughs> I even love the box that came in, it's so pretty. It has like the butterfly on the side. It's a little banged up, but it, it's such a pretty box, so. Next, I got a craft mat. It was 318. It's about the size of the ones you get at Dollar Tree. I just wanted it because it was pink and probably paid way too much, 318. I mean, $1.25. So, and it was, it's a little like wonky because it was in one of those bags. So I have to like lay it flat for a while so it flattens out. But I do like these when I'm doing crafts. Um, I, I don't always do projects where I need a giant cutting mat. So these are nice to have you know, just to grab. So I got that. Next, I got some earrings and it's actually fitting because it's kind of a hot day over here. <laughs> um, I got these and I got the ice creams and I'm going to, I'm going to put the ice cream ones on, I think. Yeah, because I don't have earrings on. So <laughs> these were, okay, the ice creams were 148 and these were 288. So yeah, <laughs> so cute though. Aren't these cute? I love these. All right, I'm gonna put the ice cream ones on. 
because why not? <laughs> why not? I love the rainbow where it says fashion jewelry. That's super cute. Oh my gosh. <gasps> How cute. How cute. I love these. These are cute. They're plain on the back, but they're very cute. I like these. <laughs> these are really fun. I love fun earrings. <laughs> I used to wear, oh, so many fun earrings as a kid. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. I shouldn't say as a kid. I wasn't allowed to wear, I used to wear my gold uh, studs. That was all we were allowed to wear. And then um, I was about 14. My mom actually allowed me to change them. And yeah, it was game on after that. <laughs> all right, the next thing that I got is $1.98. Now Dollar Tree sells these, or they did, they did have some. These are for your Cricut, um, but they didn't have this light color, this pink color, and I just thought it was so cute. Um, I mean, $1.98 isn't bad, $1.25 is better, but they didn't have this color, so that's why I wanted it. <laughs> I love pink, especially this color pink, so, ah, trying to get it out. I mean, it looks very similar, it looks exactly like it, so you just stick your vinyl, little vinyl things in here, and... So uh, that's what I got it for. Um, I mean, I usually use like a mason jar and I've showed this before, but um, I may put this on my Cricut because I have a pink Cricut and um, try to and try it out and see if it works and if I like it. So there's that. The next thing that I got was these little tiny crates and these were $7.49 for the set of four. I just liked the colors. They're very neutral, pastel, like kind. And I just thought these would be nice for organization in my craft room. I could put them in drawers, things like that, or collapse them. Um, if I'm doing a specific craft where I need like certain items, I can put things in here. And then once I'm done, put everything away and fold these back up again. Um, which one do I, I want to see the pink one. There's like this beige, pink, gray, and green color. I had gotten some of these on uh, Amazon, but they were bright colors. They were like really super bright colors and I've used them. So I don't remember what I paid. If I can find the price, I'll let you know. Uh, $7.49 for four. I mean, I don't think that's a terrible price. So, I'm trying to get this plastic off. My little Timu cutter. <laughs> these are very sharp. Like, I've heard other people say that when they haul these, but they are. They're extremely sharp. I have this one, and I have this one, and yeah, they cut really well. I mean, this cut through like a plastic item, like a, the plastic bullet packaging that you get at like Dollar Tree for my phone case, it cut through it like nothing. It was so easy to open with this. So I love these. If you see them, you should probably pick some up. <laughs> they're awesome. Um, they're, I think they're under a dollar or a dollar something. They're not expensive at all and they work great. You just have to be careful because they are very sharp. Okay, now that tangent is over. It does show you how they go together, but it's actually really easy. Um, it's just like the bigger, they sell bigger crates like this um, places. It just opens like that and then the ends pop into place. And then you have a crate. So like I was thinking, you know, inside your drawers or whatever, like even if you just need to lay out a few items that you're working on, or medicine like there's so many uses for this um, yeah like I've used it um, when I had clients I would put like all the medicine stuff that I needed to bring with me to them and then when I was done I was able to put everything back and then fold this 
collapse this down and it's super easy. It works wonderfully. So, so I also, I'd shown these before. They're the anti-slip rug grips. These were $1.48. I think this is the bigger size. I think I showed the smaller size before, but these are amazing. I use these on my rug because um, I was using the Dollar Tree ones, like the, the rubber mat, and it, the rug kept moving. It was every day I had to fix it. I have not had to fix my rug since I've started using these, and it's been, it's been a while. I think probably since my first haul, first or second haul. So these work really, really well. So I picked more up to have them. $1.48, a little bit more than Dollar Tree. And the problem is it wasn't an area rug, it was a runner rug and it was a heavy one. So I just got those because they work the best for that kind of thing, especially on a wood floor, like it was sliding regardless and it was a high traffic area. But since I've used those, I have not had to readjust, fix or anything. So highly recommend those. If there is anything that you need um, links for, just let me know. I'm happy to send them to you. <laughs> Excuse me, bug. I'm busy. <laughs> um, so I'm happy to send them to you, of course. Um, the next item, I actually got this for my Build-A-Bear. And then I took it out of the package and was like, yeah, that's definitely way too small. These are a dollar. No, these were 89. These were 89 cents. But look how tiny they are. <laughs> They're super small, super small. But they were, were only 89 cents and I think they're cute. And I don't know, maybe I'll use them for a tiered tray item. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a gnome and give them some sunglasses. <laughs> These are too small. <laughs> These are way too small. Um, I think they're supposed to be dog glasses, but yeah, these are way too small and you can't even see out of them. <laughs> um, I think these are mainly for dolls, honestly, if, if I'm being honest, because they have like little holes where you can stitch them onto something. So or maybe you can put a, a elastic through them somehow. But I just, I liked them and I thought they were adorable. Uh, they're definitely not gonna fit my Build-A-Bear. <laughs> they are not. But yeah, maybe I'll have to make a little gnome. <laughs> or maybe I have one. I mean, I have so many from Dollar Tree, so I may have to figure out what to do with that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, I got more earrings. Woo. You knew I wasn't going to just have two pairs of earrings. The next pair of earrings are these flamingos. I think these are adorable and perfect for summertime. I love those. They're a little smaller, <laughs> a little smaller than, yeah, and they have the regular hooks, but I just love the ice creams. <laughs> They're so cute. So yeah, there's those. Oh, did I say how much they were? They were $1.49. And I love that the, the image is on both sides. So if they flip on you, which sometimes they do, you can, you'll still see the image, which is nice. All right. Ooh, the next item that I got was a necklace and I, it was $2.24. I was just surprised that I saw it and I think it's stainless steel. It says it's silver color though, so I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But for $2.24, it does look like a quality piece of jewelry. I was just shocked because um, I don't usually see stuff like this uh, places. Usually I see like the Puerto Rican flag, but Cuban flags are really hard to find. And I found, I found one. So that is actually Cuba, I believe, I'm pretty sure. It looks like it, it looks like the shape. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. And it even has the flag on it. So if you don't know, like the Puerto Rican flag is the other way around, where the star is, is blue like our, like the American flag. 
and then the stripes are red like the American flag, but the Cuban flag is the opposite. So, um, yeah, so when I saw this, I was like, wow, that's so weird and cool at the same time. So I wanted to get it. Yeah, no, this is not stainless steel, it's costume jewelry, but for two forty nine or was it two forty nine? Whatever price I said. <laughs> I'm all over the place today. This is really, really cute. And I knew there was a reason why I didn't want to wear jewelry today, because I was gonna put on all the stuff I got. I love the necklace too. I think it looks realistic. So, oops, I keep touching my microphone. I'm so sorry. I'm not used to it. I'm not used to wearing it. So I'm sorry for that. But oh, MG, that's so cute. I love that. What is this? I don't even remember what this is. This was 248 and it comes in a case like this. Oh wait, I think I know what it is. Tweezers. Yes, it is. I'm very picky with tweezers. I've tried Dollar Tree ones. I do not like them. And specifically, my favorite, favorite tweezers are the pointed ones, but it does come with two others. I'm very, very picky. I'm hoping these are good for the price that I paid, which was, I don't know, because I just threw it out. <laughs> Um, but it even comes in a case, which is super nice, something I can use and keep possibly in my purse. I, I love these. I love these. I love the pointed ones and the pointed ones get ruined fast. And let me tell you, I've spent money. I've spent more than that on just one pair of pointed tweezers. <laughs> so, uh, with no case. Or, so um, the fact that I'm getting all of this is pretty awesome. And this case is really nice um, and padded. So you don't have to worry about the tweezers like poking through the case and ruining it. Um, or, or even ruining like if it's in your purse, ruining your purse. So they, they're all nice and secure in here. So that's really nice. I love that. Next thing I got was 99 cents cheaper than Dollar Tree <laughs> um, and it's a little plate rack I actually thought it was going to be bigger um, but that's okay because I don't mind um, I just need a little one anyways and it's just like a little tiny little decorative plate rack I just wanted it for a picture in my bathroom to prop it up so hopefully this will work I think it will because it's a Dollar Tree picture so I don't think it needs to be bigger than this, so that's really nice. Um, so yeah, so I got this cute little thing, 99 cents. Next I got <laughs> these coasters, and I thought these were really fun. They're vinyl coasters, they look like records. I actually have some of these from Shein, but they came in like a little holder that looks like a record player, which I love but this one just comes in like this little cardboard thing but i just love them i love music and i just love the vintage um, 70s vibe this kind of gives so did i say the price 358 that's not bad you get six coasters and you get let's see there also says that they sell bookends and bowls, which is really cool, but uh, I haven't seen those. I haven't seen those on Timu, but who knows, maybe they do have them. I haven't looked, I'll be honest. But then this is this says Sunset Records, Too Hot to Handle is the song. Then they have this one, it says Spectrum Records, Tea Time, Don't Spill, Don't Spill This. <laughs> and the group, I think it's called the Nostalgics. And this says Apollo, it says No Marks on the Table. And it says the Nostalgics, so I think that's the group. This says Cover and Protect. And this one says Protect the Surface. These are funny, I had no idea these actually said that. Um, it says rest on me 
So yeah, these are really funny and cute. So that's, this would make a really great gift as well. So how cute is that? You can open it there, but you can also open it this way, but you can't take them out this way. So it's just to kind of peek at them and then that closes up. So, so cute. I love that. All right. The next thing that I got, it was 268 and it's one of those, um, bag carry things. It's metal. They do sell a plastic one, but I, I don't know. I don't trust that. I think it'll break. Um, and those are cheaper, but I feel like this is just better quality because it's metal and it's got the foam gripper. I mean, to each his own, but I just thought that this was a better deal for the money. Metal, you don't have to worry about it breaking. So I don't know. I like these a lot and I've used them, especially when I do hauls, <laughs> I can carry all the bags at once <laughs> instead of making a few trips. So yeah, I love this. All right. Whew. All right. The next thing I got was a carabiner clip. Is that what they're called? It was 89 cents. And I love this type because it has, this is all metal. So it's not for climbing, but it also has a protector that spins and then you can open and close it, but then you can also uh, lock it in place, which I, I think that's genius. Is it stopping? Yeah, it's stopping. So then it locks it and you can't open it. So if you're using this for your keys, that's kind of nice because I've actually had keys fall off mine. So I might be changing it for this. Not sure yet. <laughs> Not sure yet, but I just thought this was really nice and I love the color. So I picked that one up for 89 cents. Not a bad deal. <laughs> All right, I did pick up more jewelry. Huh, I did, I did. I picked up a ring. This was 98 cents. 98 cents, guys. This is so crazy. And it's a multicolor. It is a size eight. I actually didn't wear any jewelry out here because I thought it was gonna be super hot and it's actually not too bad. But it kind of looks like a bow. It is a bow. They're like two little triangular so cute I love this I love bows I love girly things <laughs> um, so yeah so I got this oh my gosh that is the cutest I hope you can see that but I will throw up a picture so you can really see it but how cute is that I love that I can't I can't <laughs> it's too cute and for under a dollar that's crazy that is crazy I love it Hope you can see it. So cute. So, so cute, guys. Ooh, I found some more fun earrings. <laughs> these were $1.48. I love these. I think they're adorable. And they match that pink bag really well. They're little flamingos. I love pink flamingos. And yeah, I'm going to be very stylish for the summer, I think. <laughs> these are fun and they have the gold hooks. These pieces down here have gold accents. Like how cool are those? So cool. I love that. Love, love. Love it. I wish I could wear them <laughs> right now. I don't know. They're about, they're probably about this size, but they're definitely lighter weight. I feel like this is definitely heavier, but really cute. I'll definitely wear those in a future video for sure. <laughs> All right. I also got, um, let's see, what is this? Oh, I got a cute little figurine. I love unicorns, girly things. Um, and I just saw this and I thought it was so, so cute. And it just reminded me, this is not porcelain. I think it's plastic. Yeah but it reminds me of these porcelain unicorns. And I think they're in my craft room, I'm pretty sure. We wanted them so badly and they were a prize that you could get with tickets. 
but we didn't have enough tickets. So my dad played like a whole bunch of games to get us these little unicorns. And I still have them to this day. I think a couple of them broke because my kids knocked them off the shelves, but um, I have all the pieces and, you know, I think I, I might have glued them back together already, but I may have one that's broken. But still, this kind of reminds me of that little set and I love it and it's so cute. So I think it'll fit in very well with that set. So I had to get that. It was 79 cents. I mean, probably a lot cheaper than those little porcelain unicorns cost my dad when it was all said and done. <laughs> all right, the next item that I got was a keychain. It was $1.68. I don't think I was able to pick the color, but they had all different letters. I got the D, obviously, for my name. <laughs> um, but it has a little bell. It has the little acrylic or resin, whatever that is, with the little pieces in it. I mean, how cute is that? You could hang that on a bag, which is probably what I'm gonna do, but I just thought it was so stinking cute. I love that. That's too cute, I love that. <laughs> All right. Next, I got these earrings. They were $2.69, but they look like they're gold. <laughs> they really look like they're gold. They are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, they're just stud earrings. They have like little pearls in the center. Um, ooh, post is really thin on these, but that's okay. Oh, look how pretty those are. I will put up a better picture, but they're small. Like, I mean, they're big for, for study earrings. Let me see. Can I put them in my second holes? So it's in my second holes, but you can see size wise. I mean, they're a good size if you're just wearing stud earrings. Um, they're so pretty. And they have like little green stones, like little emeralds. And they're so tiny, like no one would know if they were real or not. They're so cute. These are so cute. And they come with really nice, um, they come with the really nice rubber backings, like the bigger ones with the, the circle. They're just rubber, but so they stay really nice on your ears. So I like that. And I think they gave you, oh, they give you the other kind too, if you, if you prefer those, but. 269 yes I love those those are great like little professional work earrings um, and they're not expensive so that's really nice uh, the next ones that I got were $1.99 uh, I'm not sure what I expected on these <laughs> these were not what I was expecting why can't I open this packaging oh my goodness all right they look, all right, they look fake. They do. And I think the wire's a little bent out of shape too. I don't know what's going on there, but I don't know. But they're cute. I mean, they, they really are cute. The, the, I didn't know that these were iridescent on the bottom. It makes them look like a plastic um bead but then there's these cute little florals that are that have little gems on them and then this little hoop has gems i i don't even know i don't even know if i can wear these because this looks like it's not locking in place so i'm a little concerned about that how much were these? $1.99? I mean, oof, I'm, I don't know how to, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if I was going to repurchase these that I would, because actually I can't even get this one to fall correctly. It's like off to the side and it's not going back. So, I mean, to be honest with you, I may actually just change the earring, P, 
piece um, because I don't even think I'll be able to wear these like this. Yeah. So I'm a little disappointed in this one. I do like the earring, like the little drop itself, but the top is definitely not, no, $1.99. So, I mean, should I return them? I probably won't because I do, I do like them, but I am a little disappointed. I will say that, but I'll change the tops and put regular ear wires. So I can still save them. <laughs> All right, the next earrings I got were $1.69, and see, these are cheaper, and these are way nicer. These I recommend, for sure. These are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. They look like this. Look how pretty those are. It's got, a like, a silver color ear wire. This is copper, and then the center kind of looks like a pearlish silver color. I mean, I think it's supposed to be silver, but it kind of looks dull, like it's not shiny, so it's a matte finish silver. So these are gorgeous, and I love this type of ear wire that dangles um, down more. So I love these. I can see me wearing these a lot. Another pair of earrings I paid $1.79 for. And these are just gorgeous. Oh my goodness, these are so gorgeous. They look like... They look like they're 18 karat or maybe even 24 karat. They're very bright yellow. But they're also look like this with the emerald look. And they actually come with real backings, real metal backings. I don't know if you can see that. I feel like if I hold it further away, you might see it better. But look how pretty that is. And it's got like little diamonds surrounding the emerald. Oh, these are gorgeous. They're tiny. They're, they're really tiny earrings. These are definitely not meant for um, like fun. These are more of a dressy type of earring, so I like that. I even appreciate that it's a, a deeper gold color, so it definitely looks more regal-ish, I guess. <laughs> um, but they are $1.79, and they're so pretty. So, so pretty. Emerald is my birthstone. I was born in May, so I mean... So that's why I got those. Next thing I got was a die cut. It's 98 cents. It says love. How cute is that? And it's got the little hearts on the end. I thought that was so pretty. I love the font. All right, next I got some like foil backs. They're flat foil backs. They were 89 cents. These are the kind you put in like those um, bezel cap things. I got a pink set, I got a multicolor set. I was hoping to make earrings. I got two multicolor sets because I wasn't sure if I had enough to make earrings on those. And then I got a pink set because I wanted to make. I don't know if I'm going to make earrings. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I may just use them as embellishments um, because they're not very thick either. So they could be embellishments on a project. So I have plenty. They were all 89 cents for the package. Does it say how many you get? 30 pieces in each package. So that's pretty good. October is far away, but I think this is the one that said it was stainless steel. These were 89 cents each. So for less than $2, you can make a pair of earrings. And that's what I want to do with these. <laughs> so I got a little girl ghost and a little boy ghost and I think it's called shy ghost and then the flower ghost and I'm gonna put a better picture but I don't want to take them out of the package because I don't want them to get scratched but look she's giving him a flower and he's all shy how stinking cute are these guys <laughs> oh my gosh I love these and you do get the chain but you could save that um, you can save that for something else if you wanted to. 
But how cute are the little ghosts? I'm gonna make little earrings, just like. <laughs> I think they're adorable. I'm excited for these. When I saw them, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with them. So next, I got a whole bunch of molds. Why I got resin molds, I, I really don't know, honestly, because I've never done them. This one is like a whole set. It's got a key, an apple. They were $2.89. Um, what else is in here? Oh heck, I'm gonna have to open it. <laughs> I have no idea. There's like a square one with the hole in the top to turn into a pendant or whatever. Um, there's a circle one. There is a key, which I like the key. I think that's pretty much what the, the flower, there's a flower. These are all just to make like little necklaces or whatever another round one so I guess you could make like earrings I don't know there's a rectangle these would be nice to make gifts for people this one that's cute um, this one these would make great earrings they're like a really good size for that this one's like a perfume bottle I think that's pretty oh Eiffel Tower yeah, so these are like all girly ones. Um, yeah, this is the apple. It kind of looks like the apple symbol. I, I am an Apple iPhone user, so <laughs> it applies. Um, there's a little heart. So yeah, so that's what you get in here. So does it say how many? 12 pieces. 12 pieces, 289. That's really reasonable. I don't imagine that these are going to be cheaper anywhere else. All right, let's pause so I can put these all back. All right, I got this mold. It was $1.99. Um, I really like vintage things and I just really liked this. Thought maybe you could paint it and embellish a piece of furniture. Um, I don't know. There's probably a lot of things you could do, but I'm curious. I'm curious about this and what I could actually do with it. Even make a necklace, that'd be pretty. That'd be actually really pretty. Along those lines, I got this one. It is a cameo. So this would definitely be a jewelry item. This was 99 cents and it is a beautiful cameo. Is that not the most beautiful thing. I love that. So there's that one. Then I found some Disney ones. Where's the other one I thought I had? I guess not. I think I showed the, some of the Disney ones already. Um, this one is $1.99. It's just Minnie Mouse. You get the bow, you get the Mickey shape. You could probably, um, I mean, I don't, I think the bow is separate, so you could either use it or not use it to do Mickey or Minnie. It was $1.99, so that's pretty reasonable. All right, and the last, yes, the last item I got was this. This is a lot larger than I thought it was going to be. It was $5.99. I don't know what I was thinking when all of those were cheap, um, but this is... This is something you can make, and I have no clue. I've never worked with resin, so I have no clue. Like, this is probably not something I'm gonna do anytime soon because it is huge. Um, it's this huge mold, you can see here, and then it has, it makes the hole on here and here so you can hang the heart, and then it gives you the the resin piece to make the base for it to sit on so this will sit in here and you make like a little decor piece I think this is beautiful and awesome and I think has a lot of potential you can make gifts I just I don't know if this is a good beginner project for me because I've never actually used resin but 
um, I do want to try. So I did get this. I don't know how expensive it's going to be to buy the, enough resin for this, but I'm curious. I am definitely curious about it. So I did get it. Um, so yeah, so that is it for this Timu haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and a comment down below. Um, I do have a code for new users for 30% off. All of my Timu information is linked down below if you want me to send you any links for the products that I showed today or any other Timu hauls please let me know and I will be happy to send you the link as long as the item is not sold out so yeah so and if you are new here please consider subscribing I really would appreciate it if you took the time to do that for me I love and appreciate each and every one of you thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time Bye, guys.